how are you? Hopefully everything is doing well. Welcome to another episode of Student Nurse Desk. And for today, I have the pleasure of having my son to join me in demonstrating a basic lung assessment. So I have performed hand hygiene and I'm ready to perform the first component of this lung assessment, which is inspection. There's a lot of things that we can find out just by using our eyes and not even touching the patient, the color, the skin, everything. So let me help you get this off. Okay. I promise there's a perfect good explanation as to why there are markings on here. All right. So what I'm looking for here is the general appearance, the size and the shape of this person's chest. What I'm trying to assess for is the barrel chest, which is an indicator of COPD. As you can see here, this patient has really good skin color, a good representation that there's proper oxygenation in his system. What we're trying to rule out for is the bluish on the skin or cyanosis. So in here, it's good. There's symmetry. During the inspection, one should also note whether the chest is rising equally or not. Also, um, just by visually inspecting in here, there's no bluish. Um, the structures are good. And we're going to find out more as we um, palpate and as we auscultate. The next thing that I will be doing is using these two fingers, I will be gently palpating the anterior of the chest. And what I'm going to be trying to feel is this rice crispy texture or what we call the crepitus. Good. All right, so the most important part of this assessment is auscultation or listening for those lung sounds. We want to distinguish whether there's variations from the left to the right, and we're looking for those adventitious type of sounds. Um, as you can see, I have, as a new student, it is important that I place correctly my stethoscope on the important points of the lungs. Now, I have used these markers so that I can be more familiar as to where I would be listening. And, um, son, is it okay that whenever I place my stethoscope, you do take a deep breath for me, okay? So, the right lung has three lobes, the upper, the middle, and the base, while there's um, two lobes of the lungs on the left side. And these points right here are going to help me, are going to be my guide as to when I'm auscultating for that sound. Okay, ready? Again, when I'm placing my stethoscope, when you feel it on your chest, if you could just do um, a deep breath for me, okay? But let me know if you're feeling dizzy. So just do it as natural as possible, okay? All right, and when I'm doing this, I'm gonna start from top to bottom, and then also moving from this left side to the right side, okay? So I'm gonna start over here. Fantastic. Let go, release. Good. As your mom, it's very important for me to hear clear sounds. Oh my God, it is. Go, just breathe naturally. Okay, I'm moving over in here. And I'm also using the diaphragm side of my stethoscope. Good. And good so far? Okay. 
right? So if you could just position right here, I'm going to do the mid axillary right here. Fantastic. So that was just the auscultation of the anterior side of this lung, of this chest right here, and we're going to do the posterior side. It is important that when you're auscultating, that you do one full inhalation and one full expiration. Excellent. All clear. Now that we've finished assessing the lungs, we're going to go on and assess the heart. Again, let me go help you with your rope. During inspection, one is examining the circulatory and hydration status of the upper and lower extremities. We can check the nails for clubbing and capillary refill time. We also check for edema, especially on the lower extremities, checking for the overall color of the skin, paying attention if there's any pink, flushed, pallor, mottled, or cyanosed skin. When palpating, palpate for the central and peripheral pulses. Note the pulse rate, rhythm, and volume. Check the skin for temperature, turgor, as well as diaphoresis. So now what we're going to do is using the stethoscope, we're going to start with the diaphragm. We're going to auscultate for five impo important points, okay? And I'm going to start with this one. Looking for that lub-thub sound. Lub-dub. <laughs>
Thank you so much for learning with us today. Hopefully, we were able to provide a clear demonstration of the heart and the lung assessment, which are two important, very important skills in the nursing profession. See you again.